What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is leg day. So we're doing some legs today. Um, barbell only leg day. Um, because I've done some dumbbells, done body weights. Because I know a lot of you do have uh, a home gym and you do have barbells and some plates. So I thought why not do uh, a leg work, a, a brutal leg workout with just the barbell. I'm actually not even going to use um, heavy weights because again, I know not everyone has a lot of plates. So I'm going to show you how you can make light weights hurt like a so I hope you're ready for it. As always, make sure you leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So what I'm going to do is first we're going to do a warm up and then I'm going to talk through a series of the movements and why I do them and explain some of the benefits or certain things that I like to do when performing certain movements. Uh, yeah, let's, let's just get to the warm up. I'm freezing cold. Right, so that's the warm up done. So now we're on to the workout. So the first two exercises, I actually like to use this as prep uh, work as well. So just to prep the, my body for the main exercises, but it is, it feels like a workout. So we're going to be doing Kang squats. So Kang squats, engage your glutes, engage your glutes. So if you've watched my other squat video, you remember when I said, once you engage, you see what happens when you engage? Engage your glutes, hamstrings, your core. Hinge down, bend your knees slightly. Swap down, come back up. Again, be very careful with this. Don't go too heavy. It is one of those movements that does require a fair bit of mobility. But if you start with the bar, and then add some weight. That's absolutely perfect. It is a great way to open up your hips as well. And it's also a great lower back exercise. And then the next exercise will be a barbell Cossack squat. Make sure you start with the barbell to get you familiar with the movement as the first set. And then you can add some weights. Don't, again, don't go too heavy on this. So always make sure you engage your glutes and your hamstrings as well as your core before you go down. Try not to let your chest fall too far uh, forward. So try and keep your chest upright if you can and make sure that you are using your glutes and your hamstrings to bring you back up from that squat position. Next exercise will be barbell back squats. We're not going to go heavy on this, but you know why in a second. So we're going to start with barbell hill elevated narrow stance barbell squats. 
and watch carefully because the tempo is key on this. Watch how slow I'm going down and when I come back up. So with the squat, the reason I like to have my heel elevated is because it's A, if you don't have good ankle mobility, this is perfect. And having my feet narrow means I can target my quads a lot more. And then we're going to drop set into, again, the same thing, same barbell back squat. And then after the drop set, again, pay attention to the tempo on this, on the drop set, even the second one. The third one's the killer. So the third one's gonna be wall sits. So anything between 30 to 60 seconds. So start with 30 seconds on the first one. I've got the 20 kilo plates on. When you are performing this exercise, remember when I said engage your glutes, engage your quads, engage your core. Make sure you squeeze your quads and your glutes and hamstrings like they owe you money every single rep. Before you go down into the eccentric phase, keep squeezing your glutes and your hamstrings and your quads all the way down and all the way up. Make sure you brace and engage your core as well when you perform any type of movement, but especially when it comes to squats. If you haven't seen my video on uh, tips, especially when it comes to training your legs, check that out because I, may, I talk about every type of squat variation out there and what you should be doing to help with better engagement. So better mind-muscle connection when you're performing every single exercise. So drop set on the wall sits as well, the second and third set. And when it comes to the wall sits, again, make sure your hips are parallel to your knees. Uh, make sure you're not sitting too high up. Having my hands on my head means you can't cheat by having resting your hands on your lap. So you can either hand, if you have your hands over on the side of your head, or you can have them hanging down to your side, but have your hands over your head. So next up, we have the Barbarian, Barbarian, Bulgarian, <laughs> Barbarian, the Bulgarian split squats. We are doing, again, very slow tempo. And this one, pay very careful attention to the tempo on this. Nice and slowly down, even when coming back up, you want to take at least the two second, one to two seconds up. So not as quick as you can back up. I know that is what every one of us wants to do because it's probably one of the most painful exercise, but I'm making it even worse for you. So keep the weight light, chest up, engage your core, engage your glutes and your hamstrings. So when you go down, keep that tension on your glutes and your hamstrings. Keep it engaged, activate it, keep it squeezed throughout the exercise. When you're coming back up during the concentric, again, try and use your glutes and your hamstrings to bring you all the way back up. Don't forget, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Quick, quick shout out to my sponsors, Whoop, which is the fitness tracker I use. Look at this, look at this beautiful little strap that I wear. Um, which is connected to my phone, which monitors my strain, my recovery, my sleep, let's just go, oh, 60%, not bad. My sleep, um, and of course, I have a Break The Mold team. So if you are on Whoop, make sure you get involved. Where am I on recovery? I'm 84th in my own group. There's about 500 of us. So for a discount on Whoop, OB, gets you 15% off your membership. You can join the Whoop gang, join the Break The Mold team, and uh, yeah, make sure you get involved. And if you do get some Whoop, make sure you tag me as well on Instagram. So, back to the video. Now, with the car phrases, of course we don't have calf machines at home or in our garage gym. If you do, that's awesome. If you notice, again, I am at a slight deficit. So standing on the edge of the 20 kilos gives me more of a deficit, which increases range of motion, which means we can work uh, our calves even more. Okay, so the longer you keep the muscle under tension, the better. This is why I do very slow tempo on eccentrics, very slow tempo on even on the concentric to keep the muscle under as much tension as possible. So when you are going down with uh, during the calf raises, nice and slowly down, all the way down. And then when you go back up at the top of that movement, squeeze your calves 
like it owes you money. I keep saying this, but make sure you do this. Every time you come up to the top of the movement, squeeze it as hard as you can. I'm holding 20 kilos to add more weight to the exercise. So if you have dumbbells, do exactly the same thing. Okay, final two exercises. The first one will be front squats. Now, I am learning to have a front rack. I don't have, well, it's getting better. If you can't do a normal front rack, you can crisscross old school bodybuilder style. That's absolutely fine. If you notice, I've got my lifters on because uh, ankle mobility during front squats is not the best. So rather than trying to fight it and, you know, perform the movement weird and dodgy, I'd rather just put my lifters on to perform the exercise. Front squats are a very, very quad dominant exercise. So if you want big as F quads, perform front squats. We're doing a deficit reverse lunge. So a deficit just because I'm trying to increase range of motion on the exercise to make my quads and my glutes work harder when going during the eccentric. Okay, so nice and slow on the eccentric. Again, use your glutes, use your hamstrings to bring you back up. The best thing about front squats is it always feels like you've done an ab exercise. Why? Because it forces you to engage your core. If you don't engage your core, you will fall over when doing heavy front squats. It forces you to stay upright. So remember what I've been saying all this time in the video. If you don't remember, let me remind you again. Engage, embrace your core, engage your glutes, engage your hamstrings before you perform the exercise. So you're going to superset this two movements and uh, yeah, it's um, after doing all these uh, exercises, it's always, always feels like oh, I'm done, can't do any more, my legs are fried. And then I go and say, now we're going to move on to the Metcon. How fun, how exciting. So that's what we're going to do now. We're onto the Metcon. Awesome, uh, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Any questions, any feedback, leave a comment, that would be awesome. Um, don't forget to like this video, it helps me out massively and I appreciate you so much for doing so. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you guys later, peace out.